The transport shuttle shuddered as it entered the atmosphere of Hunt 9, jolting Private Talia Brooks from her restless slumber. She blinked away the lingering images of home, of the family and friends she'd left behind, and focused on the harsh reality before her. Through the viewport, she caught her first glimpse of the planet that would be her new home, and her heart sank. Hunt 9 was a world at war, its lush alien jungles, and once thriving human colonies now scarred by the relentless onslaught of the robotic invaders. The shuttle descended through clouds of ash and smoke, the remnants of battles past, towards a landscape of twisted metal and scorched earth. Talia gripped her rifle tighter, the weight of it unfamiliar in her hands. She was a rookie, fresh out of basic training, one of 50 new soldiers sent to reinforce the beleaguered human forces on Hunt 9. Around her, the other recruits fidgeted nervously, their faces a mix of excitement, fear, and grim determination. The shuttle touched down on a makeshift landing pad, the heat from the thrusters kicking up clouds of red dust. The door hissed open, and Talia stepped out into the oppressive humidity of the alien world. The air was thick with the scent of smoke, sweat, and something else, something sharp and metallic that she couldn't quite place. Waiting for them on the tarmac was Captain Hawkins, a battle-hardened veteran with a face like weathered stone. He surveyed the new arrivals with a critical eye, his expression a mix of irritation and resignation. Listen up, rookies, he barked, his voice cutting through the hum of the shuttle's engines. You're here because we need bodies to throw at the robots. Don't expect any coddling or hand-holding. You're soldiers now, and you'd better start acting like it. Talia swallowed hard, her throat suddenly dry. She'd known that the fighting on Hunt 9 was intense, but the reality of it was just starting to sink in. Around her, the other recruits shifted nervously, their earlier bravado fading in the face of Hawkins' harsh words. The captain led them through the base, past rows of battered vehicles and makeshift shelters. Everywhere Talia looked, she saw signs of the toll the war had taken. Soldiers with haunted eyes and missing limbs, medics rushing to tend to the wounded, the twisted remains of destroyed robots littering the ground. They entered a briefing room where a holographic map of the surrounding area flickered to life. Hawkins pointed to a small city, its buildings reduced to rubble and its streets choked with debris. This is your objective, he said, his voice flat and emotionless. The robots took this city months ago, wiped out every living thing inside. Command wants it back, and they don't care how many of you they have to sacrifice to get it. Talia felt a chill run down her spine. She'd known that she might have to fight, might have to kill, but the scale of the destruction, the callousness of the captain's words, made it all too real. You'll be part of a larger offensive, Hawkins continued, zooming out the map to show the positions of other human forces. Thousands of soldiers, all pushing towards the city. Your job is to keep the robots occupied, to buy time for the main force to break through. He fixed them with a hard stare, his eyes cold and unyielding. I won't lie to you. Most of you probably won't make it back. The robots are tough, tougher than anything you've ever faced. But this is what you signed up for. This is what we do. The briefing ended, and the recruits were dismissed to prepare for the coming battle. Talia made her way to the armory, her mind racing with the implications of what lay ahead. She joined the military to make a difference, to protect the innocent from the robotic menace that threatened humanity's existence. But now, faced with the reality of war on Hunt 9, she couldn't help but wonder if she was truly ready for the challenges to come. As she checked her weapon and donned her armor, Talia thought back to the world she'd left behind. The rolling hills and green forests of her hometown seemed like a distant dream now, a memory of a life that no longer belonged to her. She was a soldier now, a defender of humanity on the front lines of an interstellar war. And as the twin moons of Hunt 9 rose over the horizon, casting an eerie red glow across the blasted landscape, Talia knew that the true test of her courage and resolve was only just beginning. The dawn of the offensive arrived with a deafening cacophony of artillery fire and the throaty roar of dropship engines. Talia and her fellow recruits huddled in the trenches, checking and rechecking their weapons as they awaited the order to advance. The air was thick with the acrid scent of propellant and the coppery tang of spilled blood, a grim reminder of the battles that had come before. Captain Hawkins stalked the line, his face a mask of grim determination. Remember your training, he growled, 
his voice barely audible over the din of the bombardment. Stick with your squad, watch your flanks, and don't try to be a hero. The only thing that matters is taking that city back from those metal bastards. Talia nodded, her heart pounding in her chest. She'd spent the previous day preparing for this moment, running drills and studying maps of the city's layout, but nothing could have fully prepared her for the reality of the battle to come. As the barrage lifted, the order came to advance. Talia and her squadmates climbed out of the trenches, their boots sinking into the mud and ash that covered the ground. They moved forward in a staggered line, their weapons at the ready, scanning the ruins ahead for any sign of the enemy. The city loomed before them, a twisted maze of shattered buildings and debris-choked streets. The once proud skyscrapers had been reduced to jagged stumps, their windows blown out, and their facades scorched by the heat of battle. The only signs of life were the occasional flickers of movement in the shadows, the telltale glint of metal that betrayed the presence of the robotic foe. As they entered the outskirts of the city, the true scale of the devastation became apparent. The streets were littered with the wreckage of previous battles, the burnt-out husks of vehicles, and the shattered remains of both human and robot soldiers. The stench of death hung heavy in the air, a sickening mix of rotting flesh and spilled hydraulic fluid. Suddenly, a burst of energy weapons fire erupted from a nearby building, the bright flashes of light nearly blinding in the dim twilight. Talia and her squadmates dove for cover, returning fire as best they could. The robots had been waiting for them, their advanced sensors and targeting systems allowing them to lay the perfect ambush. Talia caught a glimpse of the enemy as she peeked out from behind a shattered wall. They were a nightmarish fusion of man and machine, their humanoid forms clad in gleaming armor and bristling with an array of deadly weapons. Some were more insectoid in nature, their multi-jointed limbs and chitinous carapaces a twisted mockery of the natural world. The battle quickly devolved into a brutal slugging match, with the humans and robots trading fire at close quarters. Talia lost track of time as she fought, her world narrowing to the simple act of survival. She fired until her rifle overheated, then switched to her sidearm, the bark of the pistol lost amid the cacophony of battle. Around her, her fellow soldiers fell one by one, their bodies torn apart by the relentless onslaught of the robots. Talia watched in horror, as a rookie beside her was cut down by a burst of plasma fire, his body disintegrating in a flash of searing heat and light. As the battle wore on, it became clear that the humans were outmatched. The robots were too fast, too strong, their armored hides impervious to all but the heaviest of weapons. Talia and her dwindling squad were forced to fall back, fighting a desperate rearguard action as they sought to regroup with the main force. But the robots pressed their advantage their relentless advance driving the humans back street by blood-soaked street. Talia found herself cut off from her squadmates, alone in a nightmare landscape of twisted metal and shattered stone. She took shelter in the ruins of a collapsed building, her breath coming in ragged gasps as she tried to gather her wits. The sounds of battle echoed through the empty streets, the screams of the dying mingling with the mechanical whirring of the robot servos. As she checked her ammunition and prepared to make a final stand, Talia couldn't help but wonder if this was the end. She'd come to hunt nine to make a difference, to stand against the robotic tide that threatened to engulf all of humanity. But now, faced with the overwhelming might of the enemy, she felt a crushing sense of despair. But even as the shadows closed in around her, Talia knew that she couldn't give up. She was a soldier of the human resistance, a defender of all that was good and right in the universe. And no matter the cost, no matter the cost, no matter the odds, she would fight on, until her last breath and beyond. With a final prayer to whatever gods might be listening, Talia rose to her feet and prepared to face her destiny, alone in the shattered heart of the city. The city had become a labyrinth of death, each twist and turn revealing new horrors, new nightmares born of metal and blood. Talia stumbled through the ruins, her once pristine armor now scorched and dented, her rifle clutched tight to her chest like a talisman against the darkness. She had lost contact with her squad hours ago, their voices fading into static on the comms as the robots pressed their relentless advance. Now, she was alone, a solitary figure in a landscape of utter devastation. The street ahead was choked with debris, 
the shattered remnants of a transport vehicle forming a makeshift barricade. Tilia climbed over the twisted metal, her boots slipping on the blood-slick surface. As she reached the top, a burst of energy weapons fire seared the air inches from her face, the heat of the plasma leaving a blistering trail across her cheek. Talia dropped to the ground, rolling behind the dubious cover of the barricade. The robots had found her, their advanced sensors picking out her heat signature amidst the ruins. She returned fire, the bark of her rifle lost amid the cacophony of battle. The robots emerged from the shadows, their forms a nightmarish fusion of organic and mechanical. Some were humanoid, their bodies clad in gleaming armor, their faces a blank mask of chrome and carbon fiber. Others were insectoid, their multi-jointed limbs and chitinous carapaces a twisted mockery of nature's design. Talia fired until her rifle clicked empty, then switched to her sidearm, the pistol bucking in her grip, as she poured round after round into the advancing horde. But for every robot she felled, two more seemed to take its place, their relentless advance driven by a cold, inhuman intelligence. A searing bolt of plasma caught her in the shoulder, spinning her around and slamming her to the ground. Telia screamed in agony, the pain a white-hot lance that seemed to pierce her very soul. She could smell the acrid scent of her own burning flesh, could feel the sticky wetness of her blood as it soaked through her armor. With a Herculean effort, she dragged herself back behind the barricade, her vision swimming with tears of pain and fear. The robots were closing in, their metal footsteps echoing like the tolling of a funeral bell. Talia closed her eyes, her breath coming in ragged gasps as she prepared for the end. She thought of her family, of the life she had left behind to come to this accursed planet. She thought of her fellow soldiers, the brave men and women who had fought and died beside her in the face of impossible odds. And then, just as the darkness threatened to claim her, a miracle happened. The roar of heavy weapons fire split the air, the ground shaking with the impact of high explosive rounds. Telia's eyes snapped open, her heart leaping with sudden, desperate hope. Through the smoke and the dust, she could see a new force entering the fray, their armor painted with the colors of the human resistance. They were a motley crew, a mismatched collection of soldiers and mercenaries, but to Talia, they were the most beautiful sight she had ever seen. At their head was a figure she recognized, a grizzled veteran with a face like weathered stone. Lieutenant Vance, the leader of a renowned Special Forces unit, his reputation for courage and skill legendary among the ranks of the Resistance. Vance and his team fought like demons, their weapons flashing as they cut a swath through the robotic horde. They moved with a fluid grace, their movements honed by countless hours of training and a lifetime of combat. Talia watched in awe as they pushed forward, their advance a thing of terrible beauty. They reached her position, and Vance himself hauled her to her feet, his grip firm but gentle. On your feet, soldier, he growled, his voice a rumble of thunder. We've got a city to take back. With renewed strength, Talia joined the fray, her wounds forgotten in the heat of battle. Side by side with Vance and his team, she fought on, her rifle singing a song of defiance and hope. The battle raged for hours, the humans and robots locked in a deadly embrace amid the ruins of the city. But with Vance's leadership and the skill of his team, the tide began to turn. Block by block, street by street, they pushed the robots back, their advance a slow but inexorable march towards victory. Telia fought with a newfound ferocity, her every shot, every movement guided by the knowledge that she was part of something greater than herself. And as the twin moons of Hunt 9 rose over the shattered city, casting their eerie light over the battlefield, Talia knew that, against all odds, they had achieved the impossible. The city was theirs, the robotic menace driven back into the shadows. But even as the cheers of victory echoed through the ruins, Talia knew that the war was far from over. For on a planet like Hunt 9, there could be no true peace, no lasting victory. There was only the struggle, the eternal fight against the darkness that threatened to consume them all. And as Talia stood amid the ruins, her armor stained with the blood of friend and foe alike, she knew that she would be ready for whatever challenges lay ahead. For she was a soldier of the human resistance, a warrior forged in the fires of battle. And no matter the cost, no matter the odds, she would fight on, until the very end. 
The aftermath of the battle was a thing of horror and wonder, a twisted landscape of shattered metal and broken bodies. Telia walked among the ruins, her rifle held loosely at her side, her eyes haunted by the things she had seen. Around her, the soldiers of the resistance picked through the wreckage, their faces grim and exhausted. They had won a great victory, but the cost had been high. Too many of their comrades lay dead or dying, their bodies torn asunder by the relentless onslaught of the robots. Talia passed a medic, his hands stained with blood as he worked frantically to save a wounded soldier. The man's legs had been sheared off by a burst of plasma fire, his face a mask of agony as he clung desperately to life. She turned away, unable to bear the sight. Her own wounds throbbed with a dull, persistent ache, the adrenaline of battle fading to leave only pain and weariness in its wake. As she walked, Talia's thoughts turned to her own squad, to the men and women she had fought beside since the very beginning. They were gone now, lost in the chaos of the battle their fate unknown. She thought of Captain Hawkins, the grizzled veteran who had led them into the fray. He had been a hard man, his face lined with the scars of a lifetime of war, but he had been a good leader, a man who had cared for his soldiers even as he drove them to the very limits of their endurance. Talia remembered the last time she had seen him, his face a mask of grim determination as he charged into the heart of the robotic horde his rifle blazing with the fury of a man who knew his end had come. She felt a sense of profound loss, a hollow ache in her chest that threatened to consume her. But even as she mourned, Talia knew that she could not let their sacrifice be in vain. She joined Lieutenant Vance and his team as they made their way through the city, their steps cautious and wary. The robots had been driven back, but they all knew that the reprieve was only temporary. Somewhere out there, in the twisted jungles and ruined cities of Hunt 9, the machines were regrouping, their cold, inhuman intelligence plotting new strategies, new ways to crush the human resistance. As they walked, Vance spoke to her, his voice low and urgent. You fought well today, Private Brooks, he said, his eyes searching her face. But the war is far from over. The robots will be back, and we must be ready for them. Talia nodded, her jaw set with determination. I understand, sir, she said, her voice steady despite the fear that gnawed at her gut. I'll do whatever it takes to stop them. Vance smiled, a grim, humorless thing that never quite reached his eyes. I know you will, soldier, he said. But it won't be easy. The robots are unlike anything we've ever faced before. They're faster, stronger, smarter than us in every way. And they won't rest until every last one of us is dead. Talia shuddered at the thought, her mind reeling with the implications of his words. She had seen the robots in action, had witnessed firsthand the terrible efficiency of their killing machines. The thought of facing them again filled her with a sense of dread that bordered on panic. But even as the fear threatened to overwhelm her, Talia knew that she could not let it control her. She was a soldier of the human resistance, a warrior sworn to defend her people against the robotic menace. And so, as the twin moons of Hunt 9 cast their eerie light over the ruined city, Talia steeled herself for the battles to come. She would fight on, no matter the cost, no matter the odds. For in a war like this, there could be no surrender, no retreat. There was only the struggle, the eternal fight against the darkness that threatened to consume them all. And as Talia walked beside Lieutenant Vance and his team, her rifle held high and her eyes blazing with the fire of determination, she knew that she was ready for whatever challenges lay ahead. No matter the cost, no matter the odds, she would fight on, until the very end. The war raged on, a ceaseless cycle of violence and destruction that seemed to have no end. Talia fought beside Lieutenant Vance and his team, their bond forged in the crucible of battle. Together, they pushed back against the robotic tide, their every waking moment consumed by the struggle for survival. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, the passage of time marked only by the rising and setting of Hunt Nine's twin moons. Talia lost count of the battles they fought, of the lives they saved and the comrades they lost. But through it all, she held on to her resolve, her determination to see the war through to its bitter end. She had seen too much, lost too many friends to ever give up the fight. And then, on a day that began like any other, everything changed. 
They were on patrol in the jungles beyond the city, their steps cautious and wary as they picked their way through the dense undergrowth. The air was thick and heavy, the humidity oppressive even in the early morning light. Suddenly, without warning, the jungle erupted into chaos. The robots were everywhere, their sleek, metallic forms bursting from the foliage like demons from some nightmare realm. Talia and her comrades fought with all the skill and courage they possessed, their weapons flashing in the dim light of the jungle. But it was not enough. One by one, they fell, their bodies torn asunder by the relentless onslaught of the machines. Talia watched in horror as Lieutenant Vance was cut down, his body shattered by a burst of plasma fire. She fought on, her rifle blazing with the fury of a woman who knew her end had come. But even as she poured round after round into the advancing horde, Talia knew that it was hopeless. The robots were too many, too strong. They had been outmaneuvered, outsmarted by an enemy that knew no fear, no mercy. And then, just as all seemed lost, a miracle happened. The sky above the jungle erupted into flame, the air filled with the deafening roar of engines. Dropships bearing the colors of the human resistance descended from the heavens, their weapons blazing with the fury of an avenging angel. The robots scattered, their advance faltering in the face of this unexpected onslaught. Talia watched in amazement as the dropships touched down, disgorging wave after wave of fresh troops onto the battlefield. Among them, she saw faces she recognized, soldiers she had fought beside in the early days of the war. They had come to their aid, risking everything to save their comrades from certain death. With renewed strength, Talia joined the fray once more, her rifle singing a song of defiance and hope. Side by side with her fellow soldiers, she pushed the robots back, their advance a thing of terrible beauty. The battle raged for hours, the jungle echoing with the sounds of weapons fire and the screams of the dying. But in the end, against all odds, the humans emerged victorious. The robots were driven back, their forces shattered and broken. The soldiers of the resistance cheered as the last of the machines fell, their voices raised in a chorus of triumph and relief. But even as they celebrated, Talia knew that the war was far from over. The robots would regroup, would come at them again with renewed strength and fury. But for now, in this moment of hard-won peace, she allowed herself to feel a glimmer of hope. They had survived another day, had struck a blow against the enemy that had sought to destroy them. And as she looked around at the faces of her fellow soldiers, at the men and women who had fought and bled beside her, Talia knew that they would never give up. For they were the defenders of humanity, the last line of defense against the robotic menace. And no matter the cost, no matter the odds, they would fight on, until the very end. As the twin moons of Hunt Nine rose over the jungle, casting their pale light over the battlefield, Talia raised her rifle to the sky, her voice joining with those of her comrades in a cry of defiance and resolve. They were the soldiers of the human resistance, the warriors of Hunt Nine, and they would never surrender, never give in to the darkness that sought to consume them all. For in this war, there could be no peace, no respite. There was only the eternal struggle, the unending fight against an enemy that would never rest. But as long as they had each other, as long as they held on to their courage and their resolve, Talia knew that they would never be defeated. For they were the defenders of humanity, the guardians of the light, and they would fight on until the very end. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to leave us a like and subscribe too. We'll see you in the next video.